Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel. If you're new here, hey! Before we get started into the lovely information that we have in this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so that you can see every time that I post. So today we're going to be talking about chakras. Now you may be wondering, what is chakras? But if you already know what chakra is, here's a cookie. You deserve it. Chakras is the energy channels that run through your energetic body. Everybody have chakras. Like, everybody have chakras. There are a lot of chakras, hundreds of chakras, but today we're only going to be talking about 12 chakras. Most people talk about the seven main chakras, but there are actually 12 major chakras. So, I'm going to let y'all know about that today. So, our very first chakra is our Earth Star Chakra. This one is called the Chakra Zero. This chakra is located below the body, like six, six inches below the body in the ground. That's why it's called the Earth Star Chakra. The colors associated with this one is earthy colors such as a dark red, brown, or black. This chakra has the blueprints to your soul mission. Everywhere you're supposed to be on Earth, at when, where, like where you're born, where you're supposed to be when like major things happen. This is basically like a blueprint of your connection to the Earth. Not only does it connect you to Gaia, but it also connects you to humanity and nature as well. So when this is balanced, you have a better in tune connection with Earth. You flow better, your intuition is better, you are truly grounded. This chakra also helps the higher chakras be more active and bring more energy as well. So having this chakra activated and balanced is very important so that you have a very strong foundation. Some ways you can balance this chakra is by meditation, earthing, which is like just laying in the ground or walking barefoot and walking in nature. Our next chakra is your root chakra, aka your base chakra, which everybody know as your first chakra. This one is associated with the color red and it is located at the base of your spine. This is our grounding chakra, which allows us to stay centered active, energized, secured, as well as present. All of our survival instincts, resilience, and self-preservation lives here. The root chakra and the earth star chakra works together to allow divine light from the earth source to come up to us and flow through us, allowing our lives to be more centered, to be more grounded, to be more together, and really work with the flow of nature. Having your root chakra balance is very important so that you have an anchor to the earth that way you'll be able to grow because you have to be rooted before you can truly blossom. A way that you can balance your root chakra is just like the earth star chakra with meditation, earthing, walking barefoot, and taking walks in nature. A meditation that you can do to practice grounding at any time is by closing your eyes and envisioning roots coming from your feet down into the crust of the earth past all the underground rivers, streams, caves, tunnels, all the way down to the center of the earth, earth's core. And envision Gaia's light. By the way, earth name is Gaia, okay. And envision the light source coming from Gaia, going up you, up you, up you, up you, through all your channels one by one, and then out of the top of your head like if you're a tree. And then it goes up, 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 into the stars. And now you're getting celestic. Creation from the heavens. And then you bring that light back down, 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 down. All the way down to Gaia again. And then you just do that nice energy exchange. And then you just, you, you're gonna just feel good. You're gonna feel energized. You're gonna feel up. You're gonna feel peace. You're gonna feel centered. You're gonna feel present. The next chakra is the sacral chakra, which is located in your pelvic area. This one is associated with the orange, <laughs> color orange. <laughs> this is our channel of sexuality and creativity, as well as dealing with relationships and how we interact with society. Sacral rule abundance, creativity, wellness, joy, and as well as pleasure. 
When this chakra is balanced, it really gives you that confidence that you need, as well as if you're expressing yourself cre creatively, whether that is through art, poems, making content, making jewelry, candles, whatever flows your creativity boat. If it is imbalanced, you may have some trouble in the bedroom. You may have some trouble in the bedroom, trouble with your self-confidence, your self-love, but you can always balance your sacral chakra by having that one-on-one -on -one time with yourself, if you know what I mean. That, you know, self-pleasure, that, you know, intimacy between you and you. Ain't no shame in that. We don't judge over here. Whatever floats in your boat. Another way you can balance this is by just dancing, moving your hips. Since it's still in your pelvic area, you gotta move those hips, baby. Pleasure don't just come from sexual deeds. It comes from dancing, too. Even if you don't got rhythm, it is A-OK. -okay. Again, we don't judge here. <laughs> Our next chakra is our solar plexus chakra, which is like above your belly button, right underneath your bristle area, in the abdominal region. This is associated with the color yellow. Your sacral chakra is really your powerhouse, your real power. You know how the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Well, your solar plexus is the powerhouse of your body. <laughs> This chakra stores both negative and positive energy, so please be careful of what you really consume, the energy that you consume, whether that is thinking-wise, what other people tell you, what you watch, what you listen, what you read. Always be mindful of the energy that gets transferred to you, because it does get stored in your energetic body. It is in charge of our willpower, our ambition to succeed, as well as self-acceptance. A way that you can balance your solar plexus is through meditation which is how you can balance all of it playing some frequency music like just search up on youtube or whatever source of music that you use search up some solar plexus or any other type of frequency music and really play it throughout the day as well as you can do things like wearing yellow eating bananas because if you associate those colors or incorporate those colors into your day-to-day -day life like Wearing a yellow shirt, wearing some yellow hair clips, it really reminds you that you're focusing on your solar plexus or whatever chakra that you're doing it with. So for example, if you're eating some green grapes, you can associate it with your heart chakra. Which brings us to the heart chakra. Your heart chakra is located right in the center of your chest where your heart is, and it's associated with the color green. This energy channel holds all your emotions, holds all your trauma, holds all your love, all your pain, all your laughs, all your cries, all your joys, and all your worries. When you have an open heart chakra, it really allows you to understand how you feel as well as see how others feel, which is a great tool to use in like business, it's a great tool to use in your relationships or just a day-to-day -day life to have a clear understanding of what's really going on. Your heart chakra can be closed from a lot of trauma, from like trauma from parents in your childhood trauma from toxic relationships it can hold a lot of trauma so it's always great to constantly heal the healing process never ends some ways that you can heal is by journaling if you don't want to talk to somebody or going to see a therapist or just talking to your friend or sometimes just go on a walk and talk out loud talk to the trees the trees love hearing us rant love hearing us say whatever we have to say because not only do they listen but while we're doing all this rambling we're having a lot of carbon dioxide come out our mouth that feeds the trees and they feed us oxygen so if you don't want to talk to anybody go talk to a tree please do let out your emotions that you have bottled up because it's not okay to keep it in it is okay to cry and it is okay to feel the way that you feel so yeah, that's how you can balance that heart chakra, letting your emotions out, meditating, going for walks. Yeah, which gets us to our next chakra, which is your throat chakra. Guess where that's located? You're right, in the throat. This chakra is associated with the color blue. Its job is to help with communication, like how I'm doing right now. It helps with public speaking, 
and as well as it helps with singing. It also allows us to speak our truth and listen properly to others. A way to know that you have a blocked throat chakra is if it's hard for you to really get your point across or really get the words out that you need to get out. But a way that you can balance your throat chakra is by practicing just saying how you feel. Just say what you gotta say, what comes out your mouth, whatever you wanna say, just say it, just do it, just say it, just say it. Even if you think you sound stupid, say it. If you don't wanna practice this in front of people, you always like practice it with your doggy, with your trees, with your kitty cat, with your lizard, with your bird, whatever you have, practice. You can practice with a pillow. You can practice with a hand and be like, thanks God puppy. What's good with you, Angel? What you got on your fine cuz? I'm just making a YouTube video, you feel me? Oh, that's good, that's good. You being saying you wanna make a YouTube video, not that you do it, I'm proud of you, my king. Thank you, son puppy. Yeah, I just hope they like it. Did you like the video yet? practice listening as well the next chakra is your third eye chakra which is located in the middle of your eyebrows this chakra is associated with the color indigo and it's your psychic vision aka your inner eye third eye is actually located in the pineal gland inside of your brain but also in like the center of between your eyebrows this is the energy channel that has your clairvoyance that allows you to really have the gift of seeing as well as the gift of, gift of knowing. This is really just the channel of all your psychic gifts and abilities. People in religions like to make your third eye seem like a scary thing, but it really is not. They try to put the fear in it so that you do not actually access this energy channel and see the truth like that's it um it can kind of be just a little just a little scary at first when you get used of it but it's a beautiful journey and a beautiful adventure although warning disclaimer do not try to just activate your third eye first no you have to start at the base and work your way up you have to have a stable foundation so that you don't lose your marbles a way that you can balance this is through meditation is through sitting time in the dark just sitting there closing your eyes and just reflecting now on to our next chakra which is your crown chakra this chakra is at the tip of your head it's associated with the color violet magenta like a purplish pinkish color this energy channel allows you to access the divine, allows you to communicate with your spirit guides, with your spirit team, the angels, God, whoever you communicate with. This is also where your intuition is stored, in the crown chakra and in your third eye chakra. So strengthening those and balancing those really helps you really stay in tune with the divine, in tune with yourself, and in tune with humanity and nature. A way that you can balance this is by taking walks in nature and meditating, which is honestly how you can balance every single chakra by meditating and taking walks in nature and putting on that spooky scene music and doing colors association. So that is the seven major chakras from the root to the crown. Now let's talk about the soul star chakra. The slow star chakra is located about one to two inches above your crown chakra. It is associated with the color white and when activated, it truly allows divine light and love to flow through you. When you know this chakra is activated and balanced if you constantly feel divine love just wrap her lovely arms around you and hold you and give you that unconditional love. Once this chakra is activated, you find your peace of mind. You find your happiness, not in anybody else, but within you, within the divine, between your relationship, between you and God is your true happiness. That brings you your true peace. I'm telling you, having this chakra activated is so beautiful. 
some ways that you can activate it is by first having your other chakras balanced and activated and you guessed it meditation and walk in nature <laughs> last chakra that i'm going to be talking about today is the divine gateway which is about like two to six inches above your soul star chakra so soul star chakra about that right here then your earth star chakra about that right here that energy channel job is to really connect you to divine like it tells you the truth about the world it exposes all of the matrix secrets it really allows you to tap into the acoustic records as well as travel to other dimensions other realms you can astro travel and astro project a bit easier this chakra comes along during your ascension as well having this chakra active allows you Having this chakra active allows you to really become one with your mother, one with earth, one with the divine, one with God. And it allows you to become a star gateway so that God powers can truly flow through you and help all of those around you. Once your divine gateway is activated, it makes a triple effect, trickle effect and allows the divine light to come in and help all those around you, not just yourself. So yes, that's all I have for y'all today. Make sure y'all go ahead, take a walk in nature, meditate, put on some frequency music. If you want to do like a chakra of the day, because I did that for a little while, like the chakra of the day, you can always have like the crystals associated with each, wear a crystal, have it in your pocket associated with each, or wear that color of the day, like in your lipstick, eyeshadow, your clothes, your bracelets, however you want to do it and yeah just have a beautiful divine day i love you all and see you on the next video bye